Hi, welcome back to Let's Do Crypto. In this video, I'm going to show you how to restore the funds in your Exodus wallet in case you've had a, maybe a hard drive crash or your laptop was stolen or your computer was damaged somehow, or maybe you just moved from one computer to another, but you're unsure of how to get those funds. We're gonna show you how to restore from the recovery link that was sent to you uh, in the uh, email when you first set up your Exodus account. So hopefully you gave the real email or hopefully you saved that seed, that 12 word seed um, to restore your wallet. But if you have this link, this uh, email from support at exodus.io, you can search your email for this. And this is the, uh, the link is right here that you would need. And it's different for everyone. It's unique to your wallet. You'll need this link and your password in order to get uh, back into your wallet. So if you just go and do a search for Exodus wallet, you'll need to reinstall the wallet if you haven't already. It's exodus.io is the website. Click on download and select your operating system. It's probably gonna be Windows if you're using like Windows 10. It might also be Mac or Linux. Uh, so download that, I've already done it. And when that's done downloading, you'll just click and launch the download. It went into my downloads folder. It might be different on your computer. And this, what this will do is actually install the Exodus wallet on your computer. So it's now installing. It creates a shortcut on my desktop. And it's a quick process, and it's done. So the first time you open up this wallet, it just thinks you're a brand new Exodus user. It doesn't know that you have existing funds. Um, unless sometimes, like if you accidentally uninstalled Exodus, it actually keeps the wallet file saved on your computer, the information for your wallet. So sometimes, sometimes just reinstalling Exodus, you'll have it'll automatically find the information and ask for your password, and you're good to go. But if that doesn't happen, then what you need to do is restore from backup. So when it first gets in, it says get started by sending assets to your wallet or restore from backup. So we'll click restore from backup, and it says what do you want to do? Uh, backup link or a 12 word recovery phase? So I have uh, phrase. So I have the backup link in my email. And so I'll just go to that backup link. I'm going to highlight it and we'll go copy. And then I go and paste it right here and hit OK. And so it says X is going to restart. It may take a few moments. OK, so we click that restarts, putting in my new uh, wallet information. And now it's asking for my password. This is the old password I set up with my Exodus account. So you have to remember that if you don't have that, you won't be able to get into your your funds, even though you have the recovery link. Now with the recovery seed, uh, I believe you don't need the password to do that, but we'll do another video on that and show how that works uh, after this one. So it's unlocking my account and hopefully I'll have some funds in here now if it worked properly. And it did, so I've got about $8. I have a little bit of Dash, a little bit of Ethereum and I'm all good to go. I'm all completely restored. So hopefully you found this informative. Those are the steps that you would do to restore this wallet, uh, to restore your wallet file on Exodus. And uh, yeah, check out the next video and we'll show restoring from a recovery seed. Oh, and if you wanna get to this information, maybe if you open it up and it didn't give you the option to restore from backup, just hit Control Shift D and then click on Developer and go to Restore and it gives you the option right there. So you can do the same thing, restore from recovery link or you can go, uh, restore from the 12 word phrase. Um, be a little bit careful with that though, because if you try to restore from the, the link over top of an existing wallet, it will automatically um, overwrite the wallet that you have active, if that makes sense. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.